Hi, I'm Leo, Technical Product Manager of Materialize Meets in Print. Today I will explain how one of the new tools works, the fill tool. You can use the fill tool to easily fill up a region of interest that has holes, for example a bone or a soft tissue region of interest. By filling up the region of interest you can reduce your printing time in material. The fill tool is an editing tool and is used in the second step of your workflow, the edit region of interest step. To be able to use the fill tool, you will first need to have a region of interest. This region of interest can be any anatomy region you want to fill up. The tool exists out of two main parts, the global fill and the local fill. Now let's try it out on the Calcaneus demo dataset of Linux in print. Open the fill tool and select a region of interest that you want to fill up. Tip. If you have a region of interest with multiple islands, then first split the region of interest to better fill up the separate regions. In this case, I will select the Calcaneus region of interest. As you can see, it has a lot of holes and missing information. First, we will use the global fill to fill up the entire region of interest. Here you will first have to set a hole closing distance. With this parameter, it's important to look at the outer border of your region of interest and measure the size of leakage present. In this case, there are small and big leaks, so we will need to find the balance so we don't lose detail in certain areas. We will now use value 2 and click on the fill holes button to start the algorithm. The global fill will look at the entire input region of interest in three dimensions. It will first try to close holes based on the hole closing distance parameter and then afterwards will fill up the holes that are closed. When the operation is done, the result is shown in green so that you can easily see what was added to fill up the region of interest. In this case, you can see that the entire region of interest has not been filled up because there is too much information missing to be able to fill up the holes correctly. Like for example, here. And here. To fill up these regions, you can choose to run the global fill again with a higher parameter, while being careful not to lose certain details. Or you can also use the local fill to fill up the remaining holes manually. Let me show you how you can use the local fill in this case. The local fill is hidden by default, so you can focus first on the global fill, because the global fill will do it automatically for you. The local fill can be used afterwards or can also be used from the start if you want to have more control over what needs to be filled up. The local fill can only be used on the 2D images. When the mark hole option of the local fill is selected, then you will see that your cursor now has two circles. One solid inner circle and one dotted outer circle. The solid inner circle will always fill when you brush. The dotted outer circle will see whether it can close a hole and then fill it. Basically, it's like magic. Let me show you. If I brush here, I want to focus on the inner circle, placing it more accurately where I'm sure that pixels need to be added. The outer circle can be less accurate and go outside the region, because the tool will still assess whether there is a hole to fill or not. Tip, use a larger diameter to fill up larger areas. The result is also shown in green so that you can review what is filled. Next to mark hole option, there is also the erase option that you can use to erase small parts. This will only erase the filled up areas and will not change your input region of interest. I will now continue filling up the Calcaneus region of interest.
After filling up everything, you can review the results in the 2D images or in the 3D view. Afterwards, click on the green tick mark to apply the operation. The filled up regions will now be added to the input region of interest, and the result is a completely filled up region of interest. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to use the fill tool. If you have any questions, please contact your local support person or contact us via our website.